Good morning, everybody. This is Fanny coming at you because I wanted to talk about the coronavirus. So I know this is something that we're all like flipping out about right now. Everybody is like getting a lot of our information from social media and we're not doing the reading on our own. And I just wanted to take a minute to read, just read to you with the hopes that You'll do a little more research on your own to see what this stuff is, you know, how we can protect ourselves, but moreover, um, how to be prepared in case there is a national, uh, like in a real emergency. Good morning. Um, that there's a real uh, emergency. Hey, Tamika. And, um, you know, I think my biggest thing is we are we're not educated on what it is and how we need to be prepared. I, 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 when I went to the store last night, I went to um, Walmart because I'm a big proponent for having survival kits because we just, we never know um, when emergency will arise. <clears throat> and I don't think people are taking this as serious as it really is because although there aren't a lot of deaths happening, uh, we're behaving like there is. So, the store, the lines, y'all, were crazy long. The shelves are like, there's not a lot of food on the shelves. So even though we're afraid of catching this virus and there are not a lot of deaths, people are behaving like it is. So we need to be concerned with, do we are we going to have enough food for our families in case, you know, the city shut down, and which means the grocery stores and things are going to close. Um, we need to be putting gas in our cars just in case, you know, these public places like they're shutting down all these major events, even though the numbers don't match, you know, the pandemonium that's there, we're still behaving in public as if it is. And so we're worried about people coughing on us and we're making all these memes and all these jokes about uh, getting sick. But I think the biggest issue is are we prepared in our homes to feed our families in case there's no food? You know, um, I don't, I'm not really educated as far as or should we be concerned about, you know, the electric company and all that other stuff, you know, going out. And um, I was talking to my boss about it and I don't, she doesn't see a threat. We just don't know. Do you have a generator? I have a generator. Do you have a generator? Do you have hot plates and things like that? Um, do you have your canned goods? Um, do you have your beans? Do you have your rice? Do you have, you know, dried fruits and dried, uh, you know, vegetables? Do you have protein bars? Do you have things that you can, um, that you can just open up out of crackers and things like that that you can feed? Do you have water? You know, you need to go to those places they're talking about, Costco and all these other places that are sold out of water. Go to the other places, y'all. Go to the Family Dollars. Go to the Dollar Trees. Go to, you know, the Waltz. Go to all, go, go to the places where, you know, that are not going to be, y'all, those lines at Walmart, it was like out of a movie. You would have had to see it for yourself. Um, but even still, the lines were long, y'all, but it wasn't enough people there that you would think would have been there. And as I was talking to her, and she was telling me that Waltz, not Waltz, I forgot what store she said, but they didn't have any water. There was no water. Um, and then there are some stores that are given like limitations two cases of water per family and that kind of stuff you know so we need to be very very mindful that although we the threat of us getting sick the likelihood of us getting sick <clears throat> is kind of slim we still need to be prepared as if you know the, the the threat is real so i'm just reading right now from the world health organization the same thing that we can do and go on to educate ourselves i know we're making jokes about what is the coronavirus why is it called coronavirus and i'm looking out at the cdc the centers for disease and control centers for disease control and prevention website and it's called the coronavirus because um, it says here, the coronaviruses are named for the crown-like spikes on their surface. There are four main subgroupings of coronaviruses known as alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Um, human coronaviruses were first identified in the mid-1960s. 
the seven coronaviruses that can, well, then they, they tell about the, the seven coronaviruses. This is stuff that you can do. If we're on social media, y'all, we need to be educating ourselves about what this stuff is, how it spreads, how we can prevent it. But again, going back to preparing your homes and being able to take care of your family. So it's called Corona because of the spike, like, I guess when they got the little laboratory <laughs> scope whatever they can see like these spike like things on the surface um I'm, I'm educating myself as i'm encouraging you to do the same thing so it says what is the coronavirus coronaviruses are largely are a large family of viruses which can cause illnesses in animals or humans Several coronaviruses are known to cause respiratory infect infections, ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS. Y'all remember that. So what's up with the, the CO, what is it called? COI, I'm sorry, COVID-19. So that the corona the co is for corona the vi is for virus and the 19 is when they discovered it in 2019 and they said it came, it came out of wuhan china you know so um they said some of the the symptoms are patients may have aches and pains nasal congestion runny nose sore throat or diarrhea these symptoms are usually mild and begin gradually some people become infected but don't develop any symptoms and feel unwell they don't what is it i think they made a typo they said don't feel unwell most people around about 80 percent recover from this disease without needing special treatment so they're telling you right here world health organization cdc they're telling you that people are recovering but again like i said we are responding as if folks are dying so we still need to prepare Prepare your homes. My my biggest thing, put that gas in y'all car. Go get that gas today. I know a lot of y'all, it's payday for you. Go get some gas. Fill that tank up because we just don't, we don't know. Get some gas. Go get you some water. Go get your canned goods, your beans. Get that, that, that those hot plates. Get you a generator. Um, check on your neighbors. Make sure that they're preparing. You know, check just check on the people around you. You know, because if, if it comes down to it and folks are starving, it's going to be a problem, y'all. So we got to look out for each other, you know, um, make sure the people around you are straight. Make sure your family is straight. Um, older people, let's see, what does this say? Older people and those with underlying medical problems like high blood pressure, heart problems, or diabetes are more likely to, to develop serious illness. People with fever, cough, and difficulty breathing should seek medical attention. So they said, how is it spread? Okay, here we go. So we got, all, again, we got all these little funny videos, folks out here acting like when somebody coughed, they going to shoot them and, <laughs> oh, y'all. Okay, so real quick. <clears throat> so they shutting down all these public events, you know, with people that are 500, 500 people or more and different things um, to keep it from spreading. What about the folks that are riding on the trains and stuff? You know, we we need to be mindful of that. We, we are in these trains and, and everywhere else, and it's saying, can it, um, can it spread? People can catch C uh, coronavirus from others who have the virus. The disease can spread from person to person through small droplets from the nose or mouth, which are spread when a person with coronavirus coughs or exhales. These droplets land on objects and surfaces around the person. Other people that catch it by touching these objects or surfaces, then touching their eyes, no, and then they touch their eyes, nose, and mouth. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Um, wash your hands. You know, when you know that you've touched something, in a, a public something, surface, whatever, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your nose. Teach your children the same thing. Teach your friends the same thing. Um, they claim that they don't have a uh, a cure for it. Wash your hands. We walking around with these masks on. Wash your <laughs> wash your hands. Um, can it be transmitted through the air? They said studies today suggest the virus that causes coronavirus is mainly transmitted through contact through respiratory droplets rather than through the air. Okay, and I know I'm, I'm gonna tell you now. I was on the train holding my breath a little bit here and there. So I know I don't know, but like. Okay, you thinking about it, it's on our mind. But again, I, I I don't have the numbers in front of me. 
but I saw that uh, we've had far more deaths from flu than the coronavirus. It's like the numbers are the the numbers of deaths from the flu far they like supersede coronavirus big time. Y'all, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to get off of here. Um, but I'm just encouraging you to educate yourself. Get online. Type in coronavirus FAQs. Type in how can I prevent coronavirus. Type in um, survival kits for homes. You know, make sure you have your medical stuff. Make sure that you have enough supplies for people that, that, that have medicines that they have to take every day. You know, put that those extra vitamins in. Do your best to eat healthy. Hydrate yourself. We just have to stay in front of it. Make sure that you're exercising daily. Keep your strength up. Keep your prayers up. Keep your attitudes, you know, to the sky. You know, and um, we'll move past this like we've done everything else. I'm wishing you well and continue to educate yourself. Just go in and type in. Don't depend on your your social media friends to post up to teach you teach yourself and and encourage others to teach themselves to let the professionals tell us what this stuff is and I looked like I said I looked on World Health Organization and typed on Centers for Disease Control and Prevention so don't let these memes teach y'all don't 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 take it lightly because although like I said the biggest threat I don't see the biggest threat is death the biggest threat is the um, the panic that's out there and the lack of resources that we may have as a result. So I wish you a great day. Google, Google, Google is your friend. It's Fanny coming at you once again. I am your health ambassador and wishing you well. Have a great day, y'all.